Hello, I'm Jill Daddo. Welcome to Highbury College. If you have ever thought about working in pharmacy and fancy doing some training to get you into this field, then I'm the person you need to talk to at Highbury. I worked for many years at Queen Alexandra Hospital in Portsmouth as a pharmacist, and I am still a registered pharmacist, but these days I prefer to focus entirely on teaching and training. So how can I help you? Well, firstly, I want to talk about becoming a pharmacy technician. So if you are interested in working in a community pharmacy, such as a high street chemist shop or a supermarket pharmacy, or perhaps you might be interested in a hospital environment, there are roles for you that we can help train you for. If you're interested in pharmacy, you might picture yourself as an assistant on the pharmacy counter or even in the dispensary. And pharmacies who employ people without any previous pharmacy experience need to train them on the job. This involves completing workbooks and taking a vocational qualification. This in-house training that you would do is at what's called a level two. Now, level two is the amount of effort you would need to put in to, to get some good GCSE results. However, if you then want to take more responsibility and develop your role in pharmacy, you need to become a registered pharmacy technician. This means that you have to prove that you are safe to work without close supervision. And you prove this by taking a two-year Level 3 programme. So what does Level 3 mean? It's the same amount of academic effort as students studying for A-levels. However, to train to be a pharmacy technician, 50% of your qualification is you demonstrating that you can consistently perform pharmacy jobs correctly and can be trusted not to have a pharmacist looking over your shoulder. The other 50% of the course is by coursework, so there are no exams involved. To take this Level 3 Pharmacy Technician Programme, you must be employed in a pharmacy as a Level 3 Pharmacy Technician Apprentice. Now this is where Highbury College can help you. We can advise you how to find pharmacies who are recruiting both Level 2 trainees and also Level 3 Pharmacy Technician Apprentices. We also provide you with your taught classes here at Highbury so you'll get structured learning and you'll be with a group of other trainees to study alongside with. You'll be taught by me and you'll also be taught by my colleague Mary Ann and she is a registered pharmacy technician so she knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of a level three pharmacy technician training programme. Right, and moving on now, what else can we help you with at Highbury? Well, there's a second thing I want to tell you about, and that's about getting to university. If you have a strong desire to study at university, we can help you with this as well. We run a series of one-year intensive programmes called Access to Higher Education. The Access programme I am involved in is called Access to Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences. When I'm not wearing my pharmacist hat at the college, you'll find me wearing my chemistry teacher's hat. Now, every year in the last four years that I've been involved with teaching on this Access programme, we have sent at least one student on to university to study pharmacy with the aim of eventually becoming a fully qualified registered pharmacist. And that is quite an achievement that I'm proud of. However, you might prefer another field of healthcare to work in, such as biochemistry, which deals with analysing blood results and helping doctors make their diagnosis. Or you might fancy advising people about their diet as a nutritionist or dietitian. 
Instead of working with patients and doctors, you might envisage yourself working purely in a laboratory and performing research and designing solutions to a whole array of biological and chemical problems. So, now it's your turn. Why not make an appointment to come in and see me to chat? I'm always happy to help people turn their educational dreams into reality. So when you contact the college, ask them to set up a meeting with Jill Daddo from Pharmacy and Science Department. And I very much look forward to hearing from you.